We worked with a roofing company that was getting a lot of spam leads through their Performance Max campaign. I'm gonna show you the trick that we did. So number one, if you're running Performance Max for lead generation, do not use the same landing page that you use for your standard search campaign. You want a dedicated page for your Performance Max campaign. Okay, this is what you and I see, all right? So we use Instapage for our landing page builder. Most landing page builders are gonna have the capabilities of doing this. If I go into edit the form, I'm gonna hit show hidden, boom. There's this describe your project, right? So first name is required, last name is required, phone number is required. Describe your project not required and it's hidden. I don't see the hidden field. You know who does see the hidden field? Bot traffic. If a bot fills this field out, it will then input data here. We do not fire it as a conversion. I'm going to show you though the setting that you must have on in your Performance Max campaign to make sure all of this works correctly. Let's dive into the account. We have generated over $50 million in revenue for our clients using Performance Max campaigns. We decided we're gonna download our knowledge of Performance Max campaigns into a free, easy, practical course and just give it away to the community. Comment PMAX below and I'll send you the free PMAX course directly to your DMs. Okay, so I'm inside of the account. I'm going to campaign settings for this Performance Max campaign. Again, if you go to additional settings, right? And you go to this piece called asset optimization. Here, there's a place called text and video. Text, you do not want this on when you're trying to run the strategy that I'm showing you. Why? Basically, if this gets turned on, you're giving Google full control of where they send traffic based off of their signals. 